Well, we start the hour in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where we are receiving reports that the headquarters of three DR Congo opposition parties were torched overnight and early Tuesday. This comes a day after deadly clashes between police and opponents of President Joseph Kabila. At least four burnt bodies could be seen in the fire-ravaged offices, while one person was injured in the incident. The parties targeted in the arson attack are the UDPS, or Forces of Union and Solidarity, and the Lumumbus Progressive Movement. At least 17 people were killed on Monday in clashes between protesters and security forces in Kinshasa. Opposition leaders are now calling for the resignation of Kabila, who has ruled the DRC since 2001. They fear he is planning to extend his rule unconstitutionally. Well, a little earlier, we spoke to William Klaus via telephone. He's a DRC-based journalist in Kinshasa and started by asking him what the situation is like on the ground. To yesterday, a big coalition of opposition parties organized a uh, demonstration to protest what they see as the deliberate delay of elections. Um, the elections are meant to take place on, in this November, but they've been postponed uh, into 2017 and possibly 2018. The demonstration was meant to be peaceful and was meant to culminate in um, 50 opposition leaders filing a complaint with the Electoral Commission. But by 7.30 a.m. yesterday, it has already descended into sort of, um, uh, sort of chaos. Uh, there was already tear gas being fired by the police force. There was already tires and vehicles on fire in the opposition stronghold. And so the march, as it was meant to happen in a sort of peaceful manner, never, never took place. Um, and then throughout the course of the day, it degenerated into uh, frequent clashes between security forces and the opposition. Uh, security forces at least were joined by uh, the Republican Guard, which is the presidential guard. And at the end of the day, there was at least 17 people, according to the government. And the human rights groups and opposition politicians put the figure much higher. Uh, one opposition leader has put the figure at 53. And the violence continued over, over the course of uh, yesterday evening and yesterday night. And this morning, um, the party headquarters of five opposition parties have been burnt to the ground. And um, so the city remains uh, very tense. There's a large mobilization, a large deployment of uh, security forces. And um, if this uh, episode of, uh, of violence and clashes between the government and the opposition continues, in the pattern of previous uh, episodes about some violence is possible, it could last a couple of days. The government did a press conference last night in which uh, President Kabila's interior minister, Everest Boshab, said that there were 17 dead, so 14 civilians and three policemen. Uh, that figure is disputed. Um, a uh, human rights group called the Congolese Association for Access to Justice has put the figure at at least 25. And uh, one of the main opposition leaders who organized yesterday's protest puts the figure at 53. Um, and, of course, these uh, arson attacks by the headquarters has resulted in the deaths of several more. The main opposition party, the UDPS, whose uh, headquarters was burnt down, they say five people additional people were killed overnight in that attack. So there's a lot of uh, argument and dispute over the true figure, but um, what is indisputable is that quite a lot of people lost their lives yesterday.